Feliz Navidad. Yeah, I don't know why that came up. Thank, thank goodness you came in because I immediately panicked. I was like, I didn't think of a song. <laughs> <laughs> we want to wish you a happy Halloween. We want to wish you a happy Halloween. Anyways, that's. We love it. We're so happy. We're so happy. Mm-hmm. We had such. I didn't even tell Jessica, actually. This is crazy. That's why we're not oh. allowed to talk about the recording. I didn't even tell you all of the positive feedback that we had from uh, last week's episode. And I just thought of a question that we didn't um, ask last week that I'm writing down right now that I forgot. Hold on one second. My children. I couldn't tell. I don't know. Sorry about that. Because I thought I heard me i was like oh shit and then i thought i heard call and i'm like oh god and then i thought i heard red like, so anyways that's fine anyways, go on you're writing down a question okay yes oh sorry i'm writing a question from last week or sorry that i was going to ask last week on behalf of somebody but then i forgot about it altogether. so it's a good thing it is part two we got lots going on this episode mm-hmm. we, have, we have some questions that didn't make it into the last episode because as you guys are aware we were already at an hour mm-hmm. and um and we have some other little goodies to go through. But yes, this is our Halloween episode. The awesome feedback that we had last week was I had a lot of people reach out to me and obviously Jessica and I about the answers to their questions. And they gave us like a little bit more of a run through of like how they felt about it and how it connected. And so that was. Yeah. Sorry, I feel like there's a baby. Not my baby. It's fine. That's okay, go ahead. Baby. Just checking. My, which, whose baby is that? Yeah, yeah not, my baby. Baby. not my baby. Not my baby. But yeah, so thank you guys for being able to tell us that it resonated with you in any yes. way. It's so um, nice yeah. to have that, like, yeah, because it felt like immediately we got like messages saying like, you know, X, Y, and Z. I was like, oh my gosh, that was so good. Obviously, my biggest, like, I'm so happy that this person reached out. Person who identifies as TT in the last yeah. episode reached out to us. Person and totally like, fooled. Well, they they fooled Jessica. They didn't fool me. Yeah. I knew right away. You knew who it was. And I was like, I don't know who it is. But you know what? Because I didn't. Anyways, you know what I mean? But that's good, though. It's almost better. if We do really like when you're anonymous because the less that we know about you, the better, better we can right? like a true read without feeling like there's any bit of bias. Okay, pause for a second because there's this little rat thing. Hey, Auntie oh, Pretty. Hi, baby boy. I miss you. What did I have for you? Yeah, it's a Holy medal. Cow. You tell you Auntie, what, what did you dress up as for Halloween? Yeah. Tell me, what did you dress? What are you going to dress up as? Uh, a race driver. A race car driver. What color is it? Um, Black and white and red. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to see what I got Uncle Matthew for his birthday coming up? Uncle Matthew's yeah. birthday is on Monday. So, mommy, do you want me to show you? Show, show, see what Auntie yeah. got, uh, Uncle Matt. Yeah, it's a massive tree box. Oh, oh, look at all. There's Minnie oh, in it and the Kit Kat. In there. Do you like chocolate? Yeah. I love Are chocolate. you sure? Are you sure you like chocolate? Yeah. I don't think so. Did I make one of those for you the next time we get to visit? Yeah, for your next birthday, or or maybe next time we see you. Yeah, either or. Okay. Okay. Well, I can even put it together and I'll ship it over. I don't care. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Bye. Do you say bye to Auntie? Blow her a kiss. Come here. Give her a kiss. Blow a kiss. Got it. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Ray, see, see you later. Okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you, Chloe. Go see daddy, okay? Are <laughs> oh, you going to do some homework? Oh, good. Okay. So I might have a visitor in here. Yep. Sure. Why not? Maybe. Cool. Also, you I'm keep, in. You can I'm keep in, all I'm, that in. Are you gonna be here? Are you gonna sit here? Are you gonna sit here? Or why don't you sit over there? Oh, look at oh, did you do this at school? Very cool. Oh my goodness, thanks. The monster. Whoa. It is so good. You're so creative. Look at this eyebrow. You did it. Does your monster does your monster have a name? What's your monster's name? Um um Jack. It's Jack. It's the monster. I love that. That's mm-hmm. perfect. Yeah, he's, so he's, he's got wings right here. Two wings. Two wings. And, <laughs> and, and then he's got circular. Yeah. Does he have a special power? 
What does he do? And she can track over the place. Over the place. Oh, the naughty guy. <gasps> Does Does he he naughty really? guys. Does he eat them? Naughty. Yeah, with, with his teeth. Oh my goodness, He's Lapa. got big fat teeth. Big fat. Looks like it's colored though, okay? <laughs> Let's color those teeth. Okay, you color those teeth, and I'll be right here. Might have to edit that a bit. Oh, good. Um, All right. so yeah, um, we're talking about. Anyways, yeah, so that, that was the biggest feedback was like, I mean, not even that, not even the biggest. We got lots of feedback from a variety, but I think that was the one I was most relieved because like, I didn't know I knew this person as well as I do. And I don't think I would have read this person as well had I known, right? Because I think Because as a you felt friend, pretty, even at the time and shortly afterwards, you felt pretty guilty about being like, I think I was really mean. I think I was a little too harsh. And I was like, yeah, if they needed to hear it, they were ready because that's they asked exactly me. it. And that's, I think people, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I got jail. he's got jail. Um, well, like, I think, um, that's something that like, I not necessarily struggle with, but like, I talk about like how I channel and like, when I know I'm in like my right zone is kind of when it comes out as a lecture and it's just like, well, oh, those are all the gel pens. What if gel pens, gel pens rock. Gel pens do rock. Do they rock? Yeah, Yeah, love gel pants. Jail pants. I love gel pants. <laughs> I love gel pants. Um, but yeah, anyways, like when I do like my, my readings and stuff, it just sounds like I'm such a bossy person and like the lectures, it sounds so like egotistical. And I know that like, that's not my intention and it's not like me, I'm not giving you a lecture on behalf of Jessica. It's like, now nah, I'm like, you know, so I always feel like a little guilty after that, but, but it was good. It was good. In retrospect, it was a lot. It was good. Uh, Yeah, but I'm, you know, it, again, we we read through a place, or sorry, from a place of love. Like we're not trying to yeah. be like, get your shit together. Like <laughs> literally, we're, we're all very much like we just love you, so we exactly. want to do the best for you, no matter what that is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. before we started recording, Brittany and I were discussing. birthday presents so my sister or I guess our brother's having a birthday right away and then my daughter's having a birthday and we were just discussing what to get Maria and I was saying oh she's a girly girl she loves everything like everything girly and then I was I'll get her like makeup or I have my blue bliss decks you know what I mean like that I literally import because I love it that That's bitch what freaking do you think she crazy. did what do you think she did she Oh, no. rolled it up well not all the way but like enough and she's like Oh. all over her <laughs> face you know, that's fucking payback, though. You used to eat all of my lip smackers when we were literally kids. I just tell Ryan he's like why is she eating it I was like well she comes Yeah. by Because it honestly she is my daughter. this is my daughter it's like you could get her some lip <laughs> chat but she may eat it so I can't no, promise that's you okay. that I found some really cute cutesy things that works out perfect so now I can have free delivery to your home but also would you like to have 700 dill seeds well, you've already asked that and I just don't know about that I just in, in the dead of winter where am I going to grow it also oh true not a lot of people like dill is not a thing here do you know what I mean I know but that's if it's why available it is is it available in stores for you to even get to no like make anything no or like no like they have not dill even pickles paprika you know but everything's imported everything's imported I don't think I know a, a local pickle pickler pickler That's polite. I know You could be the local right there. I could be the local pickler I'm the local As if you something don't have anything. You don't, you don't have too much on your plate already. So like, exactly I'm doing nothing else so local pickler of Ireland. oh, what do you pickle what do you need <laughs> pickled <laughs> yeah. What do I you like? Beeps. Calls. This is ridiculous. You know, one of the first podcasts, was it the first podcast? Were you throwing potatoes? Yeah. Yeah. It was foreshadowing Ireland already. Yeah, I was going to say, throwing potatoes around, and now you're coloring beside me. So this is really strange, but also very beautiful. hilarious Pretty full circle neat. Yeah. Because I, yeah. Oh my God. I don't even know. This is season three? Christ. I think so yeah season three yeah Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we started it two and a half years ago. yeah he was just Yeah. a little boy he needed to be with you in every episode that we were making oh my goodness and um yeah it was an absolute right because I'm just looking back to see We, this is our 17th episode of the season three. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a wild ride, guys. We love it. bonkers. And now I'm like, oh, look at my son who can is tall and has a chat and 
Yeah, yeah he can shatter and he isn't shy of the camera because mm -hmm. he knows if He's Auntie cool. Brittany is on the line, yeah. then gotta tell yeah. her something. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, he's, he's frolicking off with the gel pens and paper to my bedroom. So that's good. Ryan's in there. Sorry. Anywho, yeah. Before we get to those questions, we've got like a couple yeah. little things we want to go through because yeah. one, this is an episode. Have a hopefully mm -hmm. everyone have a nice spooky month. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jessica, take it away. What did you get up to last night? Sure. So yeah, I haven't really done too many spooky things, but this was like the biggest thing on my agenda, you could say so far. Um, was it? Yes, it definitely was it. What else did I do? I thought I did something else. Oh, I did my I did a conference, my paranormal conference earlier, right? In October. But then yeah. this was the next plan. So then um essentially we had some like a group of five came down from Cork City, which is like about an hour and a half away. Right, you ready, buddy? Um, and they had wanted like a ghost tour at the local abbey. Yes, honey, I'm just talking to Auntie. Can you? What's your phone? My phone? You don't need my phone, honey. I'm working right now. Um, do you want to come and get? Oh, are you Ryan? Are you? Oh, oh sorry, Cam. <laughs> right, I called people to see daddy. No, 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 no. Or? I can't right now, buddy. Or, I'm talking to or, Auntie, buddy. Please. Or a Lambo. <laughs> a Lambo. Dad is so good at drawing Lambos, and you know that. Cool. Daddy will draw it for you. I'm just trying to get this done, honey. Okay? I just have to do on the You don't have to do it on my phone. Can you go see Daddy? We'll go put a Lamborghini on YouTube or something. If anyone has kids, I know you know no. what the. We already put in football. Have you already put in football? Please, buddy. I'm trying to get some work done with Auntie. I need to draw No. So, anyways, so they came down. They wanted a tour. Or we did like a little ghost hunting thing at um, Muckers Abbey. So that's part of the National Park here in Clarny. Um, and I've been a million times. I do. Yeah. I've taken you. Like it's kind of like always where I take people as well because it's so neat. Nice. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah. So I've definitely posted pictures about it. Um, but yeah. So the Abbey itself. I think he's home. It's a home to John Drake, uh, is the name. And he was. I can't remember if he was the one who inspired Dracula or it was based on him or something like that. Anyway. So there's like connection there. Um, but it's a beautiful abbey. There's a beautiful yew tree in the middle of it. So fantastic. Anyways. Um, so yeah, um, Anthony, my like team lead had asked me to come along and do some readings for the group. And I said, yeah, of course, like no problem at all. So I brought my, <laughs> if you guys are all watching on YouTube, poor, it's the, the poor it's stuff. Such a vibe. And there's a Lamborghini. Or the Lamborghini. One the Lamborghini. <laughs> Such a cute for song. No, Lamborghini. Oh, Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini. It's very particular with your cards, aren't you, little love? You want like what do you want? A um, song. Say song. There's no song. K K K K K K. Draw a picture of it. I, I can, but you have to leave me alone. It sounds like such a bully, but I'm like, you've had all night. Okay, just stay there. I guess I can chat and draw at the same time. So the, the Lamborghini act like... The logo? Yeah, yeah. the Lamborghini logo. Like, okay, mommy can do like that. Like this. Okay, or I have to try and draw a bowl. Isn't that lovely? Oh, goodness. Can you pick that up, right? Or oh, Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want it, like, big? Yeah, like... like the big. whole page? Yeah. Okay, i got to draw a bowl. Leave me alone. I... Can I, can I see this? It's okay, like take it to dad, honey. Please. This, this, this isn't going to work for us. I like this, okay? Call in. That's the one Lamborghini. Okay, okay, so we have to draw that, okay? Alrighty. Okay, so can I... Ch no, 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 no. I don't remember. So I use y'all first. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so we did some readings. Um, I brought my animal spirit deck and my uh, wisdom tarot. My angel wisdom tarot, uh, basically my bread and butter ones, right? right. The ones that I always yeah. use. Colin goes right. I'm going to draw it and I need to know what I'm drawing. Right? Yeah, put it right here. Okay? 
<laughs> as I was just like, he's so amazing. He's so such a great listener. And he no, never, just... he always listens to what I have. Good Stop changing the picture, sir. Oh, Anyways, um, yeah, so it was really good. Like, and I don't, like, I never look for more information than I'm given, right? So I actually knew this girl's name, and I think I followed her on Instagram, but, like, that was kind of as far as I went with it, because I didn't know who was coming with her or anything. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, essentially, it was, like, a group of five friends. Um, it was absolutely wonderful. Like, so we just found, like, in the Abbey themselves, or itself, like, it's a ruin, right? There's no, there's no fine furnishings or anything. It's just like a literal the remains of of this abbey. Um, yeah. There are no levels to it. So, anyways, when we went in there, there's the bedroom. Is what they classify that as a bedroom. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying the tail of the bull. That's where I'm starting, dude. It's, it's you you keep critiquing me. I'm just gonna stop drawing it, Mister. Anyways, so we went to like the bedroom. Um, which again, I went in the bedroom. It was just the place where the monks had slept. So it's just like an empty hall of cement and brick and dirt, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, you can draw it when I'm done with the bowl. Is that okay? You asked for the hardest logo ever. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, so it was really um kind of a not an eclectic group, but like I said, I didn't know who was coming, but they were kind of a, a foursome group. Um, lovely, lovely people anyways. That's so, so great. Yeah. And the readings were really successful as well. So I kind of did it as like a group reading style. So it was basically like me sitting in like the window frame and they're all kind of sitting in front of me. And I just did like a blind pull. And it's like, it's a girl, or like, it's like everybody leave, give me a favor and just give me a favor. Give, give me a hand. favor. If it resonates, make it known to me that it resonates with you because that's yeah. like the energy field, right? So then anyways, once we kind of connected some dots, I did, I want to say three or four cards. I'm like, is this resonating with anybody? And then one girl was like, well, I said, okay, well, let's lean into that. Okay. So yeah. then as I pulled, I was like, yeah, that seems to be more confirmed. And then from there, I kind of just like did around whoever. So I got everybody got a reading. Um, nice. So they got like my card pull and then an animal spirit. And yeah, it was really good. It seemed to hit home with a lot of them as well. There were some tears, which I always like love. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, okay, so obviously it's something of importance. Yeah. Well, that's exactly it. Like when you know it's it's, it's for the right person when it connects so deeply emotionally. Yes. Oh, stop it. Can you go see death? I can't draw if you're going to be in my ear to change it. Well, okay then. Shh. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Brittany, what was that last bit? I had, I just said like, you know, it's, it's amazing when a reading can come through that emotionally that you're like, okay, it resonated that deeply. You're like, all right. Okay. Yeah. I know. It's always like, it's a really nice feeling because it's like good confirmation for us. But like the guy or one of the people, the group is, and then um, he had said, it's like, you have a good, you have a gift. You have an absolute God given gift. And I'm like, thank you so much. You know, cause it's again, half the time I'm like, I don't know where it lands. No, you know, it's not like I, get confirmation from people right so um like not always yeah. anyways so it's it was nice to kind of have that not recognition but just that confirmation that like okay so it's obviously still you know yeah. working out for me so okay. anyways so yeah um I'm trying um, to think what else here but yeah then we did like a nice walk around of the abbey itself nice. uh, we did brought I, all of oh sorry did anything fun or spooky happen? Yeah, actually, we got to, I would say, like, meet some ghosts. Like, so we have all of our, like, recording equipment. We've got some sound production, or not production company, um, our sound um, producers um, in terms of, like, music boxes and the, I don't know if it's an EFT. I can't remember the one that's, like, with the radio stations. I literally I, don't know. Uh, but, um, like, but yes, I know what you mean. But yeah, sorry, guys. That was a bit of a jump i had a phone call i had to take and then i had a good cry and now we're here so yeah you know that is i put on a sweater so that I'm her little happy days you know oh. we all change we all you know <laughs> good big things going on well and you know like life is life happens when you when you don't well it sounds so cliche when you don't expect it but also like life is just gonna happen whether you plan it accordingly or not you're like oh, okay you gotta deal with it gotta go with it 
Yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah. Um, we had just kind of finished chatting about how like your wonderful night last night yeah. and what we also wanted to go through was in the next coming days here. Mm -hmm. Um, I already forget what it was called, Jessica. Do you remember well, what it was called? It's like as like the festivals coming up here for Halloween or like this time of year, especially in like a Spanish or like Mexican cultures, um, the day of the dead or Dia de los Muertos, Muertos the That's day of the dead. So that is a festival that runs in like Spanish countries um, mm -hmm. on the 1st and 2nd of November. So again, the day of the dead is kind of like when the veil is, is you know, is that its lightest? Is that its strongest? Is it? The veil is thinnest? The veil is thinnest. I was like, what is it? Lightest? Yeah, it's the veil yeah. is thinnest. So it's like a festival. Now, like, um, I'd love to do like a, a deep dive on like this festival itself and like how it's kind of come to be. Essentially, it's like the, I was reading, it's like a family reunion for everyone, you know, including the dead relatives. So that's where this is kind of seen as like the day of the dead. This is the day to celebrate family. Now, of course, yeah. we'll always be able to celebrate those kind of family members in like whatever capacity, you know, that we can do. Um, but there is a day leading up to that that celebrates the pets and all of our, you know, our dear oh. furry friends that have passed on as well. Um, so I had kind of like, I was talking to Brittany about this a few weeks ago and I was like, oh, I'd like love to like, like you know, back when I'd like, when my other cat, Oreo had passed away I felt like yeah. I could always like feel her at the foot of my bed and I'm yeah. like oh but you know what I do I hope I manifest that that like she'll come and visit me where I am now because it's like that is yeah, yeah. But, that, you know you could even yeah. do like a little bit of a uh, like a welcoming space or the um what is it called You're an altar an oh, offering sorry, yeah. yeah to even bring like Mr. Gus around exactly that's i was like not to forget gussie but like no not, yeah. no i don't want a piece of gus yeah no, I don't know gussie. <laughs> but but oreo was one that had that experience that's why because i had gus at the time and he was not on my bed <laughs> or gus was right. with us i should say yeah. um but yeah so yeah leaving out like a little offering for them like a little bowl of water and like some of their favorite treats or their favorite toy um right. and you know for your loved ones when it comes to you know the day of the dead when it gets closer to that if you wanted to honor them as well well they say light a candle as well or like something like that to attract them so you can yeah. do that with your pets offering and then with your loved ones offering again favorite things or favorite snacks you can put pictures of them you could um put their favorite things again books or pens or artwork or you know things that right. they'd enjoy their favorite snacks um like a letter to them if you wanted you know just again it's a day to celebrate them and well, and if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that for Oreo, you'll have to find some yogurt tubes. Find some yogurt tubes, exactly. Just yogurt, anything yogurt. She'd Just do. yogurt. This little cat, if she knew anywhere in the house, if she knew, mm -hmm. or sorry, if she could hear you open the top of a yogurt tube, she would just come bolting. He'd find you. you. He'd find you in a deep yeah. corner. So. <laughs> she loved yogurt tubes. <laughs> <laughs> she was such a good girl. Well, they all all of our little loves over the years were so wonderful, but we've had good and bad. <laughs> we have had good and bad. Yeah. Some some they really tested. But like definitely we have had, I mean, we definitely had a few in the beginning, but like ever since we had the three cats, it's been nothing but good. Do you know what I mean? Like we had great pets. We've had really good pets. I mean, you know, but well, yes. and I truly feel that like when we had the trio, which is amazing that it was like, it was three, like three, such a powerful number in general. It was three for three kids. And we like, they Girl were with us 16, 18 years. Like they were, they were our spirit slash soul animals for that time. Yeah, definitely. Like they, they, we do them up. a large chunk of our lives. Yeah. 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 They helped us grow up I guess, for totally. sure. Yeah. Exactly. When you grow up with them. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah that's just a little like salute because this will come out Saturday and then like that day to celebrate them is the 27th which is this Sunday so I figured you know we might as well drop a little sprinkle in there if you were ever interested in you know honoring yeah. your past loved yeah. ones and in any capacity and furry or foe or, or not I should say furry or foe <laughs> furry or not <laughs> foe friends <laughs> your foe friends uh, your foe family yeah furry furry animals or your loved ones uh, closer to the day of the dead exactly yeah so we'll definitely yeah. do a deep dive more into that festival i was trying to like get as much information as i could for this one but i was like not it needs like some uh, an honorable shot at research yeah. so i'm like i can't speak through this so we'll i'll save that we'll save that maybe for next episode or the episode after we'll, yeah, we'll exactly. time. be all good yeah 
So yeah, anyways, um, shall we get into some reading? Yes, you have waited long enough. I was getting teased by one of our people that we answered their questions last week. And she gave me so much shit being like, well, what's the answer? And I was like, you're going to have to wait till Saturday. And she's like, if I would have, if I would have known, I'd have to wait three to five business days. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, if I remembered what I fucking said, I would tell you. Exactly. I don't even know. Exactly. <laughs> she, it was all good. It was hilarious. And she said it was worth the wait. So it's fine. It's fine. But I thought I had a, such a good laugh. That's so good. I'm you still so start? sure we did this. I'm sure we did it, but maybe we didn't, oh, but I put it here. Talked okay. about it, but we didn't. Talked about but it, but I don't think start with the question that I have first, or do you want to start with the yeah, one? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah, go for that one then. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm not going to say names, but Jessica's going to know who I'm who I'm saying or who I'm talking about. Or don't. Sure. Maybe give him an alias then. Well, that doesn't matter. It's, just, it's funny. Okay. It's also funny. They wouldn't give a shit. Okay. Um, this is from the M group, and they okay. have asked... <laughs> When is Jessica moving back to Canada? That's hilarious. <laughs> when am I moving back to Canada? Like, yeah. that's so funky because I'm like, I don't fucking know. I have <laughs> such a hard time reading myself. I know, right? So I, I had a good laugh because I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot. That. <laughs> moving back. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. I don't know. But now, like, we've done, like, other, like, spiritual readings and, like, uh, when we had some people on, we'd ask them and, you know, through their tools, they're like, oh, you know, like, not for a long time. <laughs> yeah, they're like, two years, not before that. Yeah, okay. So what am yeah, I we'll using? See. We'll see what that is. So the card that came out on my end, oh, I'm using the same decks that I used for our previous episode because I wanted to keep it every super consistent. So yeah. I'm doing my Archangel, Para, well, Archangel Power Tarot cards and my Moonology Messages deck, the ones that I used last oh, week. Yeah. So it's interesting that this card has come out as reflecting on the question is when is Jessica coming back? Because it says time to make a decision. (laughs) Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxifying. Wow, detoxification. Okay. So I'll just take a little look, see see what else that kind of means. Sounds good. I'm like, what does it mean? What does it mean? I know what it could mean, but you know. It's nice and bright and green, which is nice. Yeah. So time to make a decision. You may feel the situation is too complicated, but further research will reveal the right course of action. Intuition provides useful guidance on how to sort through all of the possible choices. Listen to your inner voice. Don't be lulled into daydreams. Get clear on what you want and then take action without looking back. If you're drawn to a particular bucket on the card... then uh, know that each color holds meaning and guidance in making your choices. So additional meanings are unrealistic expectations, procrastination, confusion, indulging in excesses, and a need for a detox. Interesting. I definitely, when I looked at that card, like my, when I saw the red bucket, my ears started about, go inside. He's hanging out the bathroom window. Oh my God, he's still trying to drive me nuts. Like I can see him in the bathroom hanging out the window. That's great. Anyways, so good. Um, anyway, so when I looked at the red bucket, my ear like is noticeably like I felt something in my ear, and I'm like, what does that mean? But that, when I looked at the other side, the blue and the purple, it felt yeah. very cool and calm. So if that's yeah. like the rage <laughs> that I'm feeling this evening or this yeah. life currently, yeah. I'm like <sighs> the chaos that's maybe great. is probably what I'm feeling. What I what I which is good because what I missed is. Each color, you yeah. said. Sorry, say that again. That you were red. With red. red, red got my ear going, and like I felt like so much cooler on the blue and purple side of the card. But I definitely red was like one that like, you know, I noticed that feeling. Because these actually represent the chakras. Okay. Okay. The one okay. thing I missed when I was reading my book was like, that's my root. Then wouldn't it? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through right right now. Chakra right colors. Now. Second. Say Roy G. Biv. Chakra. You get it? Roy G. Biv. Okay, so R or R. Red is root chakra. Safe yeah. place not to have trust. And the blue and purple are ones. So the blue was the throat sh- Yeah. Throat, third eye, and crown. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So which is interesting, as you said that, because like obviously red, your root is like it's like your powerhouse, obviously. Like yeah. you're just ah! but for you to feel more calm from like you're getting what you need out you're saying what you need 
to say, but you're also um, focusing on your third eye and your crown, which is like you're you're leaving it up to be like, I'm, I'm able to say what I need to say clearly. I'm able to connect with my spirit guides through my third eye and my crown to let them know that I need their guidance for what I'm supposed to do next. Yeah, yeah exactly. What, from that? what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think that that's fair. Um, when, when you pulled yours and like, again, it's like, this card is weird cause it's like for me, but like not directly. Right. Yeah. So it's like, and as we were talking, I'm like, my, my life is chaos right now. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I just think like nothing settled, but when has my life ever been settled? Do you know what I mean? When yeah. have I ever had been settled in my life? So I'm feeling oh. a lot of fire and like, that's I only got one yeah. fire card. They got the the knight of wands passionate confident charismatic restless events requiring immediate action trust your instincts stay focused a passionate relationship so what i do like i feel that is like a movement card not necessarily that that's yeah. like back home but it's like again like but i just feel like there's something that like it's either inaction or like again it's so hard to read for myself i don't want to think i just want to feel it and it's so hard for me to feel on but the, think like, about both those cards jessica both of them said it's time for action like it's yeah. time to make a decision time for action so you it's want me very to come home so bad <laughs> i think i don't do, yeah, I know not you. me me and hundreds of other people yeah, yeah. but like know. we know that you hundreds, need to be very hundreds oh i'm sorry but like me and my like five friends yeah that'd be great <laughs> Shut up. hundreds of people would love for you to be back yeah. i also <laughs> pulled the ego card the illusion of oh, being trapped right. accepting this sorry is that is oh, that right ego yeah this is the other one i got and it says the illusion of being trapped, accepting responsibility for your situation, and then making choices to support your path to happiness. Addictions are unhealthy habits. Like, again, I do feel like this is like something for me that like I can't move yet because I've got to work through some stuff. But do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like there's things that I need to, the, the my chess game is still much at play, right? Like there's not, I don't know where I'm in, in a year. I don't know where we are in two years. I don't know where i'm at in a week if i'm being honest do you know what i mean like that's kind of yeah. where I'm at. You know, where i I'm absolutely at. get that <laughs> i'm a ballistic mess so let's not make me but, it's but, but thank you so much m group for sending us out there because yeah. just thanks think guys so, a little reading anyway for her to go. <laughs> that's okay if you cry jess it's okay. <laughs> it's i'm sorry Cause guys because you're, you're letting your third uh, i'm sorry you're letting your throat chakra like release what you need to say that you're holding in yep anyways um, yeah it's not about me it's about you so can we move on please <laughs> okay we're moving on okay well you have the next question so you have okay. to you have to die okay, okay. <laughs> can we move on? This one, i know who this one is anyways so right again i tell Britt, Britt is like do you know it? i was like no it's fine like it's when it's me doing readings it's not me right so it's fine right. okay so this one is from the leader of the britain jess fan club hilarious pc which we know we know who this person is she tricked us but she know we know who she is yeah she said what's in store for me this winter am i going to continue being a hermit so fair enough i definitely think that's a valid question i've yeah. been feeling that way myself this week specifically so well it's so Let's... weird because it's like hibernation season so you're like oh i don't want to do anything but then you feel guilty but exactly. yes let's see. let's see here what's in store for me okay. this winter Ooh, interesting. So my card that I got was the 10 of Gabriel. It says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Which okay, is fair, you know, fair enough. You know this person. <laughs> Do you know this person? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> fired. Um, okay, oops. Hold on a second. Get it. Okay. So. It's important to live a balanced life. Your determination and sheer will to accomplish the task be before you is very admirable or admirable. Sorry about that. But it's taking a large toll on you. Ask for help from others. Delegate responsibility to those who can do a good job. Reduce stress for the sake of protect protecting your health. Release feelings of guilt and remove unnecessary obligations from your schedule. Your current challenges may feel burdensome, but there is a great deal to learn from the situation. This is a time of growth that will make you feel stronger. Ask your angels and guides to help, or sorry, to place helpful people at your side. So additional meanings are trying too hard to place others. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, overdeveloped sense of responsibility and working too many hours. So to go along with like being a hermit this winter, 
I think the reason, one of the reasons why you're feeling like you're a hermit is you have too much going on that you, you physically can't make room in your schedule for doing anything you want to bring you joy. Yeah, I think that. that's fair. Again, like feeling, feeling that, not thinking because we know who this person is. Right. I think that's part of it is it's like, well, I continue to like hide away because I've got, it's overwhelming. As soon as you open the door, it feels like, oh God, you know what I mean? It's overwhelming. So we're like in our safe space when we're at home. Yep, but that's exactly. okay to have a safe space and, you know, if it's yours, but not to like isolate yourself and not to yeah. like, you know, life, you have to, you know, you can't stop living. Yeah. But also you need to trim the fat then, you know what I mean? You really need to cut out the crap that you don't need to be doing because unnecessary stuff. But anyways, or again, even like a little bit of time during your day to do something that you feel that is for yourself, which is, could be like reading. It could be taking like a really long hot shower, or hot bath. It could be taking a walk. It could be just sitting on your phone to scroll. Like, and just don't feel guilty about it. Like just yeah. what is something that you can do for yourself every day? even if it's just five minutes and then slowly you can tack on more and more time yeah. as you are able to shift your schedule. Yeah. And like, don't put like a time frame on that either. Do you know what I mean? Your body will kind of get back into its rhythm, whatever your rhythm is yeah. that you're going to be pleased with. Right. But I think you have to, you almost have to give it the attention that it's asking for as well. Right. But, okay. So I got, Oh my God, of course I got balance. What? <laughs> Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something. Oh, for fuck's sake! Pardon me. Hold on. Sorry again about the pause, guys. Balance. One of those days. Balance. Balance. <laughs> People on YouTube are like, "Jesus Christ, are you okay?" No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time we should pause, I feel like I should put on a different shirt. <laughs> shirt or to change something in my background be like where what is happening there exactly i'll be okay it's, it's wild like we're it, there's just lots of energy today yeah yeah okay anyway back to it okay so the blending of ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance and i think that's what's really important is it's finding that balance and it's not like an all or nothing attitude you're not pouring yourself out entirely i think you have to maintain that reserve for yourself because if you enjoy being a hermit okay great that's good but if you've left nothing in your reserves for yourself to do something with that's where i think that there might be an issue i just gotta go sorry <laughs> hey, that's so smart no absolutely so we hope that the the leader of the Brittany and jessica fan club <laughs> gets this message and it resonates with them we love you so much we Again, certainly do. So um, sorry, I did pull one more for this. Oh my goodness. Okay. I pulled the busy bee card, which is the animal spirit um, busy bee, which again, like, again, I know this person. So like, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Waiting so for the warnings to come in here. She's getting a ball looking for me. B. Earnest, yeah. hardworking, and democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. They're, since they're artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the work. Then they gripe and then they sting. So when you're in balance, you're content, active, and vibrant. When you're out of balance, you're overworked and annoyed. And to bring into balance, a mini vacation. So I like, again, it's balance. Yeah, I would say all those, all of those cards hit pretty pretty on the yeah. mark for this person so i definitely agree yeah okay so on to the next one it's from m h okay. and um it says is my focus better spent on my creative project or my business project i get tugged in both directions and lose motivation thank you so you that is that yeah is my focus better spent on my creative project or my business project interesting okay the card that just flew out of my deck was the four of Michael and it said insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I always think that like, <laughs> no, no offense to your guides, but like, that's a cop out. Come on. I'm like, Oh, you just need to I know, always. Meditate. Absolutely. Always. It's I'm just like, annoying. 
but it's so like, annoying. I don't want to do work. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's time to take it's time to take a break. The situation you find yourself in will not benefit from any more action on your part at this moment. Step back and let it go. Yeah. It will probably be for the best not to even think about it for a little while. Resist the urge to challenge those who disagree with you. The, the key to success is likely to arise from meditation or the unexpected epiphanies that come while on a quiet walk. Mm -hmm. Are you getting enough sleep? If you've been ill, make sure you're taking all the time necessary for a full recovery. So additional meetings are make time for yourself, take a vacation, pursue spiritual activities and seek relief from stress. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's just kind of like, get some sorry. perspective. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Just like, it's time yeah. to just, you can't focus on it right now. You have to yeah. like, let it go and like, let it just yeah. all happen. How it's let supposed it be. To. Yeah. yeah. Like start, start focusing on something else. Just like, yeah, that could be the front part of your brain right now. Yeah. My card. <laughs> I love when things align, right? So this is the yeah. seven of, is it the seven of cups? No, it's the seven of, I always forget what, what earth is anyways, but um, maybe once, I'm not too sure. But anyways, it's seeds well planted. Efforts are investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. It's like, whenever I see this, it's like the nurturing. Like, I think you're attending to your beautiful craft and just nurturing it and continuing that. And that's, yeah. it's like your, your need to pursue further right now is like, just, 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 just enjoy it. this right now. Yeah. Exactly. Cause really you can't overweed the garden. There's only so much you can do now. You have to let it go and flourish. Exactly. And there's going to be a point where like, you know, what about, again, what about the other part of the garden that needs to be nourished? Right? Yeah. That's exactly right. it. Or the gardener. Yeah. Or the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Um, exactly. A quick uh, little animal spirit one. Of course. Oh my goodness. It's like the top card every time. Oh, the oyster. Okay, cool beans. The oyster. I always say like, people don't know how excited I am to see which one could it be? Because like, I don't know. Oh. Well, that's it. Exactly. Okay. Fish. Oyster. Sorry. Uh, patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts into their mind, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it that you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. So when you're in balance, you're feeling blessed, generous, and masterful. When you're out of balance, you're reluctant, gripping, or griping, out, and then you clam up. So to bring it to balance, share something. So I think that goes like hand in hand with the meditation. And sometimes you don't know yet until you've had those deep conversations with yourself. Yeah. yeah. Love yeah. that. Great. Yeah. Thanks for, for mm -hmm. sending us in a mess. Or, um, I'm sorry, a question. I've got three more. Are you still good for time? I am so good for time. Are you good? Are you sure? You know, yeah. Good. Like it's almost two. I wasn't too sure. Okay. No, it's everything's fine. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So, so I have a, a name. I don't know. I don't. Uh, anyways, so we've got a name here. I'm just going to say the name. Rosie Susan is who this oh, was yeah. submitted by. So I don't know if it's anonymous or it's fake, whatever. Rosie Susan. Yeah. Cool beans. Rosie. Thank you for being yeah. here, Rosie. Love you. Um, it's great. The question. Oh, these questions always make me nervous because I'm like, I don't know. Are children in my future? Oh, okay. I'm going to let the card. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. But you know what? It, as much as it's a scary question, it's such a good question because it sometimes you're like, question. what the hell? Looking for a dry tissue first to start with it. Yeah. No, I'm... Okay. I just had a card shoot out on me, which I appreciate because then that way... I feel like that message was supposed to happen no matter what. I love those. Every time okay. I do my readings for people, I'm like, just so you know, my reading style is boring and nothing flies out anywhere. If it does, it's because I made a mistake in chocolate. <laughs> okay, Jessica. <laughs> I made a mistake. It can't be real. Can't be um, real. Okay, so I have the Knight of Ariel and it is, there's is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So that may be confusing at this moment here so I'm going to do it obviously a deep dive I'm just trying to look at the picture to see if there's anything here that I 
and pick up on. It's tending to a garden, but it's also like there is there is a chest of coins right beside her as she is tending. And obviously there's someone who is standing um, over top of her in a horse, it may obviously be an angel, someone who's either looking after her or the angel that is on the the in the garden tending could be planting the seeds to create something afterwards yeah. so deep dive yeah. there is so much to to be accomplished make a plan that is methodical and sees to every detail slow and steady wins the race you may decide it's time to find a better job just bear with me here business matters take precedence over emotional ones in the situations angels are walk, watching over you right now so think big a person of this is also to do with a person of great kindness and understanding someone with your very best interests at heart loyal trustworthy funny creative ecologically minded uh i always laugh when they say it might be a vegetarian or a vegan involved um additional <laughs> meanings are renewed action wise investments being washed over by someone kind yeah so it's interesting it's just it is interesting it's it's definitely one of those cards that doesn't have a clear yeah. answer yeah. so when it comes to there's so much to accomplish and making a very detailed plan, sometimes that can mean that in order for you and your life to feel ready to bring in kids, maybe that means there's a big list that you want to accomplish before, yeah. before you even had room in your life for babies. Yeah. That's what it feels and like. Just, yeah. Yeah, like it, it just it feels like right now is not the time. Not it just that it feels won't. like. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think that like I think that um, I think I feel that they're in your future, but I don't feel like they're that they're ready to be a priority just yet. Do you know what I mean? I think like yeah. yeah. Um, when you held up that card, I had already pulled my card, and it's the King of Cups, oh. and on the top it says trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. Mine was yeah. trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So I was like, oh, trustworthy. But then, um, of course, again, as I was kind of like feeling into it, yeah, I feel like this has weighed on your shoulders a lot longer than maybe you've like let up. And that's maybe something that you might need to find peace with. And maybe you haven't found the right partner or you don't know how to manage that either guilt of not doing it sooner or, you know, again, those feelings associated around infertility, if that is the case, um, yeah. or not even infertility, but again, like the lack of eligible par partners, maybe, do you know what I mean? It just feels like you haven't found the right person to do it with, if at all, you know? Um, yeah. so I do think that like talking with somebody in that department in terms yeah. of like, um, like a psychologist or, or a counselor, to talk through some of those feelings would be beneficial. I know that wasn't your question. Are they in your future? I would hope so. If that's what you want, absolutely. I want them to be in your future if that's the case, but I, I do want you to be ready for them. Question. That's the thing. And, and even when we get your questions, as yeah. we are channeling through our decks, like we're going to be taking the messages from spirit that is, is yeah. that you're supposed to hear. Yeah. Like so it, long and short of it. Not right now. Not right now. Yeah. Like I said, like my person, like, it my this the when I feel like the king if I put myself into his shoes it just feels like it's like this is also so irresponsible of me but it's like it feels like I'm 19 or 20 worried about my retirement do you know what I mean it just feels like it's so not part of my life just yet but it's but it's causing me a lot of stress or like that's what it feels like in in terms of I mean oh yeah you should always be I suppose but like I'm not worried about my retirement because like <laughs> but you know <laughs> Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'll be working yeah. till I'm dead, guys. Um, <laughs> but but that's what it feels yeah, like. It's so like so they roll me the fuck out of there. Yeah, exactly. I'm like I'm worried about funeral costs yet, and I haven't even lived yet. Right? Like that's where it just feels like the horse before the carriage. That's right. Yeah, which again is not always the answer we want to hear. I've okay. obviously felt the same way because I would. That was one of my main questions every single time I would talk to anybody mm -hmm. is when mm -hmm. are kids coming? What I need to know a date. And every time it was just like, you gotta wait, you got shit to do first. Sorry. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So I'm yeah, sorry. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah. is what 
tell you. Yeah. I mean, if you want to book a full reading with us, we can go into detail and whatever else. But like okay. I said, I just feel like they're not, it's not in the time yet. Not saying they're not in the cards. It's just, they're not on the priority list for your spirit. Yeah. You have some things to do first. Yeah. All righty. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. So this one is from CM. C is in Charlie. M is in mother. Cause I have a cold and stuffy nose and all the things. Will my youngest son be okay? Oh, okay. Will my youngest son be okay? Okay. There's one that popped out, but I'm just, just okay. thinking that one was an error. And then I was supposed to take it. Okay. Okay. We're getting two cards for you today. <clears throat> oh, which is nice. This is a good one. This is the first one that popped out that I was like, I just I think I need a second. The first one that came out was the six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sign of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. This is actually such a fun card because I'll, I'll show you in a second here. It's it's this angel who's on this big boat above the water. And there just <laughs> happens to be a dog in there, just like a collie, which is like, what the fuck? That's so random. And it's the sure. collie just living the best life she's like there he is i was like where is it i see it yeah Yeah. so like that's freaking cute as hell yeah but i'm really happy about that message because that made me worried for your baby yeah Um, but um six of michael you're on your way to happier times the situation that you had feeling that had you feeling stressed and worried is behind you a new day is dawning with sunny skies and are on the horizon embrace the changes and leave the past behind you can now breathe a sign of relief and begin to make new plans don't be afraid to ask for help in implementing the changes you desire Mm -hmm. additional meetings are seeing things objectively objectively becoming more positive relocation and travel and the second card which i think has more to do with this person versus the message is Mm -hmm. of Ariel it's it's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun so in this there's a gentleman who's upside down doing a handstand with one hand but he's also deciding to hold two like glass balls on his one Mm -hmm. arm to try to keep balance of everything and it's like holy cow how does how are they going to manage it how long are they going to hold on to this for and Mm -hmm. so okay so this one, it's important to have balance. You may be working multiple jobs or you have several projects going on at once. Reconsider your to-do list. Is it really necessary to accomplish everything? The key to managing stress is to think of ways to make your situation more fun. Mm-hmm. Look at life in a playful way. You may be having challenges balancing your budget or balancing, sorry. Yeah, that's exactly it. Be cautious of juggling your finances in a way that will cause long-term difficulties. Career changes should be looked at carefully and decisions made slowly and logically. Additional meetings are going with the flow, making it look easy, the ability to get by on little money. So I do feel like these cards are very similar because you're wanting, depending on what's happening with your youngest, Mm -hmm. if he's okay, if you've had to worry about anything medical, if you've had to take off time to look after little one off of work and Mm -hmm. and find a car. um, We're in a tighter ship these days in terms of budgeting now. Literally, so, pun intended, a ship. Yeah, a ship. But it it's it, it is interesting that both cards are still like, let's just take a minute, let's reassess the whole situation. Mm-hmm. Things are gonna get better, but let's reassess what life is gonna look like with um a smaller budget mm-hmm. for now. Yeah. Or at least, yeah, reassessing what yeah, yeah. We do hope that your baby is okay and please. Yeah, of course. Nice. Yeah. I have two as well. One okay. is the three of water, or three of the cups, sorry. Uh news we're celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancies, or graduation, a time for gratitude, close communities or chosen family. So it does feel like actually, you know what? It kind of felt like you're thanking your guardian angels or your ancestors right now, yeah. and you're celebrating with them in the in I guess in the follow through of good news. Do you know what I mean? I think, um, yeah, it just kind of feels like, like when I'm feeling this card and again, I hate the word I think, and I know I said, I said it, but I'm like, oh, I'm not thinking it. I'm feeling it. But after, you know, or whatever the situation is, once you get that clear, whatever that news is, 
it's like yeah. finally like you'd be like oh thank you you know if your mom or dad has passed on or grandparents like for looking out for him and I think that that is that joy and celebration is it's like your people have have embraced him as well and are guiding him right <laughs> of course but this is another one for you managing your resources wisely extremes in how you give or receive money time or emotions smart business decisions seeing things as black or white being charitable and this is just yeah. being a little bit more money conscious on what again what's what's what are the ins and outs so it's like there's i guess i would say there's a difference between frugal being frugal and being cheap and then being you know a big spender and spending it wisely do you know what I mean just because it's a big purchase or whenever you know it might seem elaborate but it might be a meaningful purchase right. knowing the difference on when and what i hate money but anyways that's fine i get yeah. that i love it i love how when jessica and i read we're on two different parts of the world literally i don't show her my cards you can see this oh. all on there she, there's nothing else here i'm doing it all down here yeah so and i don't go through my deck to be like okay she's gonna like i usually pull at the same time as her so yeah, literally, which is so, and that's what's so funny about it. That's why I love, but that's why I love reading together too, because when it does hit that hard, you're like, okay, those messages were just needing to come in very clearly. So exactly. Yeah. All the, so. all the best. We're sending our love and healing that energy and yeah. yeah. All right there. Perfect. So the last one we have here is from Larissa and yeah. then it says in which area of my life, whether it be friendships, family, career, et cetera. Can I expect my next significant shift or change to take place? I love this question. In which area of my life, friendships, family, career, et cetera, can I expect the next significant shift or change to take place? Ooh, I like it. It's a really interesting question. And I really like how like it's so broad, but also like specific. You know, I love it. Yeah. Odd and specific. Yeah. What do I, what does she need to hear right now? Where is the next shift coming? That's, from? that's literally what I'm thinking. Like, it's like, what do you need right now? What does you it's like sometimes when when people like this, they need a nudge in the right direction. So, mm -hmm. okay. I have interesting. Okay, I've got the Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. Time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, and sudden changes, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. see what that means. Because what is the change, right? What is the change exactly? Time for swift action. It will be necessary to move with great decisiveness and confidence. Develop a plan and know exactly how to carry it forward. There is a great deal of activity. This card encourages you to follow your mind over your heart for the results you desire. <clears throat> when you're urged to act quickly, you mustn't act impulsively. So this person can accomplish many things at once. Someone with a brilliant mind and a capacity to solve any intellectual problem, strong, focused, committed, and educated. So additional meanings are the champion of a cause, sudden changes, lack of diplomacy. So to me, because I know who this is, when it's explaining this person, it's very accurate. So that's maybe what they need. It's accurate. Yeah. Keep them out of it. That's the thing, Brittany. Don't let your ego sneak in there. So oh, you know, I don't know. It, it, but this person can accomplish many things at once. Yeah. So this is amazing. Yeah. Um, but it's I'm just trying to see what like, but it says time for swift action, great decisiveness and confidence. I feel like this has to do with work. Okay. Okay. But that's just where I'm feeling, trying to feel like it just doesn't feel like family. It doesn't feel like friends. It feels like work. Okay. Something's changing at work. Changes. You want to change, or yeah. or there will be a decision that needs that will be coming up, and choose logic over emotion yeah. is obviously a, something yeah. to keep in mind. Okay, cool. Is it going to benefit your family? Is it going to benefit your bank account? Is it going to benefit your mental health? Like you have yeah. to yeah. take into consideration. Yeah, the whole right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I pulled two of my tarot cards and one of my animal spirit cards. The first one was the wheel. A fresh start, sorry, a fresh new start and end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So it could be like, again, you kind of said career, but it's kind of like, I love this card because it's like the wheel of fortune and like, so the wheel of fortune, when they spin the wheel and it's like, ding, 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 or tick, 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 you know what I mean? And that's what I feel. I'm like, where are we going next? Do you know what I mean? That's what yes. it kind of feels like. It's like, like. I love that you do take into consideration, consideration your friendships and family and career and that, but like, yeah. I don't want to say nobody else is prioritizing you. You should prioritize you. Right. And, and I mean, that isn't like, and you know what, as teach is you should prioritize yourself. You should be your own number one. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. But that's, it's like, where do you want to go? 
Like, I think that should be like the exciting fuel for your next chapter is what does it look like? Do you want to stay or do you want to go? I don't know. The next one is stand up for yourself and your beliefs, have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So this could be like when you decide to make a swift change, because it does sound like you want to make a change, then stand up for yourself and be confident in the decision that you've chosen. Love it. Okay. The last one I have is the vulture. Interesting. Interesting. I've only gotten the vulture a few times, so pleasant to see it, but it, it looks so, it, it looks it sounds scary. It sounds like, um, you know, like not a, a pleasant card, but it actually is a lovely card and people don't necessarily feel that right. It kind of looks like an evil, but it's not, it's the guardian and the purifier essential for rebalance. The vulture is perhaps the most under misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in, this, in disguise. So when you're in balance, you clarify, you reveal your wisdom. When you're out of balance, you might be dramatic or aggressive to bring into balance, clean your space and sage. So I do think that that, again, environmental changes seems to be like relocation could be like moving house. It could be moving out of a parent's house or, you know what I mean? Like it just feels like a fresh start in some capacity is, is right there for you. Love that. Um, but as I'm like saying that I do feel like a, a deep breath of relief once you've made the change, I think that's maybe like a lingering feeling for you yeah. is like, you're, you're not too sure what to do there. <sighs> yeah. But I can even smell the sage. I don't even have sage in here, but it just that's feels like, okay, you'll like, you, you need to reset the stage for yourself yeah Is that cool? amazing we love it yeah. let us let us know for all the people that were yeah. able to send us their beautiful questions today if anything yeah. Resonated, if for me. yeah and like that form is still up there i said in the last episode i was going to do a um a form where you could like fill out and be like how did we do haven't done that guys i've been busy if you couldn't tell by the the crying episodes i've had this one episode like i typically do not even you'll never see that well, it's just, it's been one of those fucking crazy times. It's my life. So we're going to pull the message for the week here real quick. And my card shout out. Thank you very much. So what? Oh gosh. Ugh, my nails are not like wanting me to pick up the freaking <gasps> card on the floor. Okay. Well, the card's on the floor. It says. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I got it. <laughs> that was way too much. Okay. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected from heaven. I should mention this is my Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck from Doreen Virtue. Different deck every week. And it's beautiful. It's just this this mermaid who's holding their little mer baby. She's a little mermaid. A little mer baby. That's yeah. cute. So cute. So I'm just going <laughs> to... I have like the card I think I pulled for myself at all. Well, you got it. Hey, the message everyone used to hear this week. So your, your prayers, which ask for safety and protection have been heard and answered. Any attacks, threats are now a thing in the past, washed away with the tide of heavenly love. Your, this love is clearing away your insecurities so that way you can feel totally secure. When you ask heaven to watch over you, your loved ones, your home and your possessions, are instantly answered there's no hesitation or delay on heaven's part it's done as soon as you ask your energies can now be directed in a meaningful and creative ways with your mind clear of worries enjoy your day okay very good okay mm -hmm. and mine is the rabbit but i've done my kim crans and um the wild unknown spirit and i'm like rabbit. cool okay sure bunny rabbit tell me all about my life um yeah. or about what people need to hear well it says afraid of everything overwhelmed and frozen hell air which is my life and my wi-fi so <laughs> you say my life and my wi-fi yep. dead that's yep. funny <laughs> dead dying dead i was okay. I'm legit passing away at this very second passing away <laughs> r.i.p me okay um the rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him he talks Perfect. and talks and talks about it so loudly in fact that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our own worst enemy. 
We spin up the dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your, your thoughts and your words. Oh, rabbit, they shape your destiny. When you're in balance, you're sensitive, problem solver, and a good listener. When you're out of balance, you might over-explain or talk fast to bring into balance a day of silence. Could you imagine a day of silence in my life? Not in yours, Actually, no. I slept all morning. All That's morning. I took the kids to school and came home and slept because I've been like going at 500 speed. But I don't think I could do that all day. Not necessarily sleep all day, but. It would be amazing if you did. Be great. Be so good. But I'm afraid well, of that. I'm afraid of everything. <laughs> So, yeah, and that's a, but you know what? That card is definitely going to resonate with not just yeah, you. But- I think so. It's that time of year, big changes in the air. So it's totally yeah. afraid. Totally yeah. afraid. Mm-hmm. Totally afraid. Mm-hmm. But yeah. but you are loved and it's okay yeah. to cry and it's okay to oh be sad God. and overwhelmed and over touched and overstimulated where you're like, okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, over touched is a good word. I'm like, dude. Poor Colin. I love him, obviously, dearly. He's such a sweet boy. But I'm like, go the fuck to sleep. Why are you Why are you in here? Like, this is here? my time. Anyways, that's okay. I probably didn't even tell Ryan that I was podcasting. That's why, but. Oh, well, there you go. Well, hey, we yeah. love you guys. We hope you enjoyed our very wild shit show of an episode. I don't know what Jessica's going to keep in or out, but damn, it was a wild ride. It was wild. Yeah. Overall, we'll overall, we still, <laughs> we're here for it. We're here every Saturday. <laughs> every Saturday, you can hear us. We'd love to hear what you guys think of our episode. And if you want to contact us, how can they find us, Jessica? Well, we're on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, <laughs> Twitch. I was going to say Tinder. And Tinder. No, we are not. No, we we're are not both on Tinder. happily taken. We are not happily on Tinder. I'm taken. So sorry. We're not on Tinder. Do not look for us there. Um, exactly. so that's where we are. If you want to email us, oh wait, sorry, we're there on Basic Banter for Witches, or sorry, at Basic Banter for Witches, and then you can email us all your fine, lovely goodies or just messages of love and affirmation. That'd be great. Um, Basic Banter for Witches at gmail dot com. Um, yeah. yeah. So if we had your reading done this episode, let us know how we did. Yes, please. Um, Everyone enjoy all the wonderful holidays between now and our next episode, and have a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yes, I hope you enjoy whatever it is you're doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing a little bit of everything. I've got a book club and I'm going to make pumpkin cookies. That's oh, why I asked for the recipe. Up. I got to, I got to move. I got to order in pumpkin puree. That's fucking. I'm yeah. probably going to send you that deal. Yeah. It's probably going to happen. Deal's so happening. You're gonna have deal. You're gonna have deal. Deal. Need some deal. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. We'll see. Maybe not for this time, but you're going to get it eventually. We'll get some but anyways, stuff. we love y'all and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.